Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating cutting and engraving using the Onyx Laser Machine by Monport. This is the next video in a series featuring the Onyx Laser Machine. Thanks for joining me for another video on the Laser Channel. Did you know that the topic of this video comes from comments that you left behind on previous videos featuring the Onyx Laser Machine? Those comments included, what types of materials can the Onyx Laser Machine cut and engrave, how thick those materials are, and how fast it can do that. So I combined all of those into this one video where I'm going to be demonstrating cutting and engraving on various different types of material. This is not going to be a tutorial on how to do that cutting and engraving, just to showcase to you for entertainment the speed and capability of the cutting and engraving of the Onyx laser machine. Inside Lightburn software, I have a file that I've already created. It's going to be the laser channel keychain. If you'd like the opportunity to win one of these, I will have a key phrase that you'll need to type in the comments down below for your chance to win that item. The laser channel keychain was created entirely within the Lightburn software. Throughout the different materials that I'll be testing, I will have in the corner of the screen the settings that I use. I'm going to start out with the material that is included with the Onyx laser machine, and this includes cardboard, basswood plywood, and clear acrylic. This sheet still has the protective paper on both sides. The machine includes five sheets of each of these materials and all the materials are three millimeters thick. This video is about showcasing the cutting and engraving capabilities of the laser machine. And we all know it's gonna have absolutely no problems with three millimeter cardboard. I am going to leave this for you to use on your own so that you can have that learning experience of learning the relationship of the laser power level and the speed and the effect that it's going to have on cutting or engraving. Some of the other materials that I'll be using in this video are going to include clear quarter inch acrylics, three ace black acrylic, half inch solid red oak board, and I'll also be taking a look at marking a stainless steel keychain. And lastly, I have a sheet of glass that we'll be engraving on. We won't be able to cut it, but definitely it's gonna be pretty cool to check out just how easy a CO2 laser can engrave glass. Let's get started with the first material and that is three millimeter bass plywood. The Onyx laser cut through the three millimeter basswood like a hot knife through butter and it did it very quickly. Next is three millimeter clear acrylic. For this video, I'm choosing to remove the protective paper off The Onyx laser cut through this three millimeter thick acrylic like a hot knife through butter. If you'd like to know more about cutting and engraving acrylics, that will be a separate video coming up in the near future. 
with the three millimeter acrylic complete, I'm going to move on to quarter inch clear acrylic. We'll see in the video that it did take me several attempts to get it cut through in just one pass. And that's not because the laser had difficulties. It's because I'm trying to showcase how fast the machine can cut through the material using only one pass. I hope that you like this video so far. If you do, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. Let's continue on with even yet more acrylic and stepping up to this three ace black acrylic. Now the color of the acrylic doesn't matter with the CO2 laser. I'm just simply moving on to black three ace because I don't have it currently in stock in three ace clear. Three Ace Black Acrylic is all complete. And yep, I forgot to unmirror this image from when I was doing the clear acrylic. Well, I'll just chalk that up as experience. And don't worry, at the very end of the video, I'll have all of the keychain samples and engraving samples on top of the machine, and I'll do a close up flyby. That way, we can see just how clean cut all of the edges are on all of the sample materials. With this complete, it's time to move back over to some wood and plywood, starting off with this quarter inch Baltic plywood. The quarter inch plywood keychain, it turned out absolutely fantastic. And quarter inch plywood is up there with one of my favorite materials to use with the Onyx laser machine. It sits right next to working with acrylics. Next, I want to see what the Onyx laser machine can do with this half inch thick red oak.
I ended up making two of these keychains, and that's because in the first one, the slug for the key ring hole, it stuck on. There was just two of the smallest connected parts of that wood that wouldn't allow it to cleanly drop out. So I adjusted the setting slightly so that the part would cleanly drop out of the work material. Next, I'm going to color mark a stainless steel keychain. Let's take a closer look at two key things I'm going to do to make sure that this will take marking from a CO2 laser and that this shiny reflective surface doesn't damage the laser machine. Here's a close up of the stainless steel keychain, and we'll see as I kind of twitch it around, it absolutely is a mirror finish. Again, if I put this directly in the laser machine back here, the reflection of the laser beam off of this tag will damage the machine and the CO2 laser will not be able to mark this bare uh, stainless steel surface. So to solve two problems with one step, I'm going to apply a masking agent to this keychain, which will block the reflectivity and this CRC dry molly will allow the CO2 laser to color mark this stainless steel tag. Here's one of the keychains sprayed with that dry molly lube and we'll see it's no longer reflective and it has a nice matte finish. It's now ready to go inside the machine. We're going to see that when I move the reflection back and forth around the letters, you're going to see that the metal is slightly indented a little bit. And this means that this color marking, it's not just on the surface, but it's actually protruding going into the metal a little bit. This engraving is not going to just rub or scratch off easily. It's now a part of the stainless steel tag. The last item that I'll be engraving in this video is this pane of glass. The really neat thing about using a CO2 laser machine is it will directly engrave on glass. There's no masking agent or temper paint that needs to be applied to the surface. Clean, crisp detail on the glass engraving. Again, I didn't have to put anything on the surface. The laser machine was able to engrave directly to the glass. In just a minute, we're going to take a close up and detailed look at all of the items that came off of the Onyx laser machine in today's video. A quick recap, I was able to engrave and cut through three different thicknesses of wood material. The same thing with the acrylics, cutting and engraving three different thicknesses of acrylics, and then moving on to marking a mirrored stainless steel tag, and then finally directly engraving on clear glass. Let's take a close up look at what all of these look like. The three millimeter basswood that comes with the Onyx machine, it engraved with nice, clean, crisp detail. The cutout is also very nice. And when I turn this up on edge, we'll see that the cutout line has very minimal charring. Next is the quarter inch plywood. Again, clean, crisp engraving across the top, clean cutout all the way around. When we turn this on the side, there's just a very minimal amount of charring that's on the edge here. Not very much, and it really doesn't leave too much of a mark on my finger. Here's the half inch oak. Again, we have nice clean detail across the engraving 
And when we cut through this, this does produce a little bit more char, but it did cut all the way through. Very impressive work. Moving on to the acrylics, here's the three millimeter clear acrylic that comes with the Onyx machine. Again, nice, clean, crisp detail across the engraving. This was mirrored, so the engraving is actually on the back side. If you catch it in just the right light, we're going to see that there's a little bit of ghosting or hazing that's next to some of the letters, and this is due to the engraving dust that comes off. That is very hot, and some of it refuses back to the acrylic. Again, in a future video, I'll show you some of my tips and tricks to make sure that that doesn't happen. But in this video, I really wanted to show off uh, how clean the cuts are from the Onyx machine. The quarter inch clear acrylic, we have the same thing. Nice clean detail on the engraving. When we flip it to the other side, we are gonna see just a little bit of that haze from some of that acrylic dust that refused onto that surface. When we take a look at this on edge, we're going to see that it's nice and very smooth. The last acrylic is the black 3 8 thick acrylic. Once again, we have beautiful, crisp, clean detail on the engraving with, again, some of that haze from that acrylic dust refusing onto the surface. When we take a look at the edge, it looks mostly smooth. We do see a little bit of scorching on the very outside here uh, due to this being the cut side. And again, in a future video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of any of that hazing, and I'll show you how to clean up any of these scorch marks from when that was being cut out. The stainless steel tag, out of all of the projects that came off of the laser machine today, this one has to be my favorite. I just love the color contrast between the text and this mirrored finish. Lastly is the glass engraving, and just like all of the engravings that came off the Onyx laser, this has beautiful, clean, crisp detail. I love doing glass on a CO2 laser machine. There's no masking or prep work that I need to do to the glass. I can simply take the sheet of glass, put it inside the machine, and hit the start button and get fantastic results exactly like this. Cutting and engraving wood products, acrylics, marking, stainless steel, and directly engraving onto glass. This is just a glimpse of what the Onyx Laser Machine by Monport is capable of. If you'd like to know more about this machine, I will have a link in the video description down below. Please check that out and bookmark it for future reference. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, show it some love by giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, or ringing that notification bell. It really helps the channel out, but it's also a great way to connect content like this with great viewers like you. Until next time, learn, create, and share.